We're KC 101, hometown country, and raise the region, the big fundraiser to help out a lot of our nonprofits. We're promoting that, and I've got Mark Warner joining us here. He's a board member of the Endless Mountain Music Festival, one of the 35 or 36 different nonprofits that are involved with the Raise the Region locally here. And Well, thanks for coming down, Mark. Tell us about Endless Mountain Music Festival. The Endless Mountain Music Festival serves the uh, Twin Tiers region. We bring world-class musical performances of all genres to various venues around the area. Some of our bigger locations are Corning, Wellsboro, Dean Center. Occasionally we'll have concerts out in Cherry Springs, near Cowdersport. And you have uh, some of the free programs too when it's out as well, which is what I really like. Programs that involve students and learning right. and the schools and Absolutely. all these things you mentioned too are free for kids. So yes, I want to give yes. that a little plug because I think that's really one of the neat things that you give back to the community. One of the many ways. Yep, we do uh, free concerts when we do the Cherry Springs concert. We also do a free concert Last time it was at Wellsboro Johnson Airport. And we also are getting into education, running initiatives to further music education uh, for the surrounding areas. But when you're flying in world-class musicians from all over the place, I'm sure that you've got expenses to make this, this type of thing happen. Plenty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, are there certain goals that you're trying to reach or certain things that you're trying to, to attain through this fundraiser? Yeah, we're always looking to hire more musicians, uh, sort of expand our reach, uh, maybe break into different territories, and also further our ability to offer these educational initiatives and grow the program as a whole so we can continue to bring these world-class musicians to this amazing region. And you have two major events a year. You have a summertime and a winter, a smaller one in the winter time. Yes, the Jazz Fest. Mm -hmm. That was uh, just last weekend, as a matter of fact. And how did the, how was that attended? I'm sure it's great for our economy, bringing everybody here to the community for that. It was great. It was really great. Brom always does a fantastic job. Brom Wygens, is that the way you pronounce his name? I believe so. I, I think I said so. that correctly. <laughs> I, I have seen him perform a couple times, um, and I'm not into classical music, uh, but I will tell you what, I was when I saw him perform, because he just brought a whole new style. Hear he's that. good. He's good. He And he's very entertaining and very engaging. So it's always a fun time. People love to get into his concerts. He is very interactive with his audience and people seem to really enjoy that. It's great for kids and uh, mm -hmm. people of all ages. And your website, if someone wants to uh, bookmark this so they know about upcoming events and everything, what's that? It's uh, EndlessMountain.net. Okay. And uh, right now we're talking about the fundraising with Raise the Region. So they can go on through uh, our website, KC101FM.com. You'll find a link to each of our local nonprofit groups on there, or you can go to raisetheregion.org and find all the information on there as well. So it's the first year for everybody, and I'm sure you guys are all excited to see how this all plays out and everything with Raise the Region, which is a great fundraiser. Yep. We are very excited. So I'm hoping uh, that this is going to be tremendous for the region, and we'll learn a lot from this year, and uh, we're just optimistic at this point. Pushing forward. We're KC 101, your hometown country station, raisetheregion.org. Get on there and get donating. Thank you.